there, this is MJ with Creative Minds and today we're going to be making this beautiful Aztec-like pendant, earrings, and ring set. So this is made out of polymer clay and resin and this is a beautiful druzy necklace which has a very Aztec-like feel to it and look to it and it's just a beautiful set and the earrings are just really pretty as you can see it's just a really pretty set and so if you would like to learn how to make these and the rings go with it this is just a regular ring and then this one has more of an Aztec type look to it and so if you'd like to know how to make this set then just keep watching Okay, hi everybody, this is MJ with Creative Minds. I hope you're doing good tonight. Before we get started, first of all, if you have a moment, please hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to our channel because we are trying to put out more and more videos as quickly as we can to give you quality material to build on, to learn from, to grow from. We want you to grow with us. So please subscribe to our channel and we'll get started so basically this is primo clay this is just white primo clay and the first thing we're going to do is put a pattern on the back the pattern that i've chose is going to take me a moment to do you can choose a texture or a rolling pin pattern or anything that you want the pattern that i've chosen takes more time so i'm going to go ahead and do this as quickly as possible So basically I filled out my entire pattern and just so you know this this pattern here I know it seemed like it took me a while <laughs> but um, these are great these are great little tools you get 20 pieces of these tools that have all have a different pattern on them and they are just awesome and so you can I, I will leave a link below to I'm going to be leaving a link below to all the products that I use so that you can uh, get them get your hands on them if you want them but for now I will put my actual store links in there so that you can get to the places that that I buy from and this was bought on Amazon but for now this is the pattern that it created it's just a really cute flowery pattern and I just love it for, for the purposes of what we're doing with this so the next thing we're gonna do is cut out some shapes from here so we have two triangles here and a circle shape and we're going to do them beveled if you don't know how to bevel then just look back at my beveling video it'll show you a quick video on how to bevel but the thing that you're going to want to do with these is you're going to be beveling them in different ways. Okay, this piece is for the top, so we're going to bevel it this way because we want it just plain on the top. And you're going to take this triangle and try to get in the middle as best you can. And I'm going to cut out two of these for the earrings just in case that one in the middle there might have been a little bit too beveled and this clay is rolled out on just the regular zero on the atlas machine by the way regular thickness I have an atlas 180 next what we're gonna do is we're going to lift this up and we're gonna flip this over and we want to get another piece from this side beveled the other way with the pattern on the back. So choose your best area that you like. And you've got the pattern on the back. All right, now to do the earrings, at least part of the earrings, the other part we cut out was triangular and it was on this side of the clay. It was on the, the front side. But we're going to turn this over to do this cut basically and this pattern this 
little tool here that I have is awesome for doing these earrings and if you look at our product recommendation page and maybe you use your Google find tool and you just type in tool it'll go right down to these and show you where you can get these I know that some other companies sell these things for between 40 and 50 dollars for the set and you can buy it off of my product recommendation page for like less than 20 bucks and they are awesome tools let me tell you but anyway even if you had another pattern you're going to want to turn it over so that you have the pattern faced this way and the reason why i love this pattern for this is because i can single out one flower with this round tool and I have one flower and it's so cute on the back of an earring but first we're going to cover because we're going to bevel this and so you'd think that the bevel would go the other way but it it doesn't it goes this way so because we're going to be decorating the other side of it that's where this resin's going to go so I'm going to try to single out the flower and that one's a little bit off Let's see here. There we go. That's a good one. And another good one. So I'm going to cut out a few more of these because I'm making a few more of these. You only need two of these. But as I said, some of them are just spot on. And I don't know if you can see that. But there we go. So that's what it looks like. It's just a little flower and it's just ever so cute. And that will be on the back of the earring once we do the front. So it's just so cute to have that one little flower back there. Anyhow, let's move on. <laughs> These are our basic shapes. We're gonna do first with this piece here that we have with the pattern on the back. We're gonna flip this over and we're gonna go ahead and put some bacon bond around the edges and we're gonna adhere this one to it. Okay, and then we can just fit this right on to here and marry those two pieces together as best you can. So now you've got the pattern on the back that's beveled and you have the pat and the one that does not have a pattern on the front but is beveled as well and we're just going to blend those two pieces together on the sides Okay, and once you get everything smoothed out, it should look more like this around the edges. You're still gonna have the beveled edges, but you're just gonna have a nice smooth married line here. It's You should almost be able to smooth that line out with your finger if you're, if you're careful without ruining any of the pattern on the back or anything like that. If you're very gentle, you can do that. And so that is how we've made this. This is actually a mold for anything you want to put in there. If you wanted to add a stone, you could put a stone in there. Although we'll be adding some resin to make our druzy in this. And these earrings, we just want to smooth the edges out around here. Okay, so next what we want to do is put some sort of pattern on the outside of this bevel. So you can do whatever you like. If you want to follow what I'm doing, that's fine. You may find you have another idea in mind, and that's fine. Just put some sort of design around this edge here. And this is totally random what I'm going to do. A lot of times I will use this before I start doing a pattern. This is just a Sculpey clay softener. 
even though this is conditioned clay, I just put a little drop on my finger and run it around the clay. And it just seems to help allow me to cut into the clay with my tools a lot easier. All you need is a little drop. And again, I'll leave a link to this down at the bottom of the video. Okay, I'm finished decorating the pendant, and now I'm going to focus on the earrings. So this is the ring that we do next. This is what I chose was the dual faced ring. And you can use any kind of ring blank that you want for this. You don't necessarily have to use this kind.
Okay, now the next thing that we have to do here is add some eye pins to these pieces right here. So what I'm doing here is just cutting down these eye pins. I had some really small ones and I was debating on that, but... I want to put a little curve in that. Throw a little bacon bond on it. Okay, the last thing that we have to do to these pieces before putting them in the oven is just to add our mica powder. This is silver, and these are the Perlex mica powders, and just go ahead and liberally add this silver because we want to turn it completely silver front and back. And we could have just used silver clay, but it just doesn't give the vibrancy that the Pearl X gives and again you could still put the Pearl X over the silver clay but at the present time I am low on the silver clay so I had to go with this but you uh, definitely can use silver if you prefer or gold or whatever color you would like to use make sure you do the sides because otherwise they will be stark white if you're using white <laughs> and get everything coated. Hello everybody, I'm back and oh boy, I know this looks different, <laughs> but we had, oh, don't even ask, we had a, we had a disaster. So at any rate, I was never able to go on with the resin part. So what I did, this is why you're seeing so many pairs here. What I did was I went ahead and I just had to make new pieces. So they're the same shape as we were making the same everything just had to redo them had no choice so i made a couple of extra sets as well and there are a couple of sets almost coming out of the oven uh just the rest of these like the there's a couple more pendants and a couple more of the earring but what i wanted to show you was you can do this step before the the resin i apply this is like a uv a gel acrylic you could put this on and you could you know leave it sit under the uv light or out in the sun or whatever and then pour your resin and let your resin cure because i'm using ice resin inside here in the bezels inside these bezels the, this bezel there's a ring that's coming out and then i was going to also, also do another ring without uh clay in it to show you but at any rate we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do this step now while waiting for those other pieces. So all I'm doing here is just basically almost like a nail polish. It's not nail polish, but just going to go ahead and do one side. And I'm not so concerned with the middle here because the resin's gonna go in the middle. So I'm just gonna do the one side here. And I could do this with the ice resin, but I just feel like I don't need that much of it to go around this, this, uh, these corners. So basically I'm just painting this on and I'm going to put it under the UV light for about five minutes or so. As long as it's not too thick of a coat, it doesn't take more than about five minutes maybe to cure. 
So I'm going to do the same thing with these earrings. Then what I'm going to do is pull them out. I'm going to make sure that there's not too much in the spaces. You don't want to gob it in there. You want to do a light coat. don't need very much. So in order for this to cure in five minutes, I don't want this to be an inch thick. So at any rate, I'm going to go ahead and like I said, I'm not concerned with the middle. And I'm going to just get these edges here. And once this cures, then I'm going to pull it out and wipe it down with some alcohol. That will help it with the final hardening of it. And then what I will do is turn them over and do the other side. Unfortunately, with the UV, you can, you can only do one side at a time. So all I'm going to do is put this on here, and that way I can show you the results of this. So I'm getting something done for you while waiting for those other pieces to come out. And then we'll do the final resin. So I'm just going to show you this front part here, and then you will see the results. Uh, the back is not, I'm not going to show you how I paint the back because I can do the exact same thing as I'm doing the front to the front here. So I'm not going to waste your time. Well, hi everybody, I'm back. And so, as I said before, I have now resined uh, with the gel acrylic. I have done both sides of the pendant. And as you can see, it's nice and shiny and ready to go for the resin. And these earrings, uh, well, this part of the earring is also ready to go. It's nice and uh, shiny on both sides. And these are as well. With this one, I'm not going to do, I have the, the uh, baked, this has also been resined. One little note I wanted to, to give you, when you resin, or even if you're using a little bit of the resin that goes around the side to make this side shiny, you want to put this on your, I, I get, usually I get these sheets. They're, they're large, pretty large size, like placemats, and they're wonderful. They are just wonderful. The resin does not stick to it. You can wipe it right off. And I, it all surfaces clean right off of this one. And I, had, I had just used this one just a little bit ago, and I have not cleaned it off completely yet. As you can see, there's still some mica powder on it and stuff. But these are great. You get uh, so many in a pack, and you can cut them down to size, you can bake on them, you can just do a whole lot with them. But these are great because what I do is I put the ring on one of these as I do the rest of the pieces. But I put a piece of tape through the ring, like masking tape, and it holds it straight up like this so that the resin, it doesn't fall this way, so the resin pours out of it. It stays, it stays straight up like that. So the whole time, it is able to cure. It is able to cure appropriately that way. So just thought I'd give you a heads up. This type of procedure that we're doing today, I, I, had, I had this ring here and we're gonna be using this color and I just thought that I would uh, put it on for the rest of this uh, video so that you can see how this one had turned out because we're going to do a couple like that as a matter of fact this one right here doesn't have the clay on it and i'm going to show you how to do that but basically what we're going to be working today with is ice resin and the main one that i was doing was this beautiful cobalt ice resin opals and they are just gorgeous and this is the cobalt opal as you can see, it's just beautiful. And this is what we're going to be using for this set in particular right here. And then I had, like I had told you, I had made a couple of other sets. So I do have some glass glitter. And the procedure for the resin and the glass glitter is a little bit different. So I may not use this particular color today. I may save it for another video but this is just a beautiful color as you can see this is like german uh, glass glitter and well this is made by ice resin and this is amethyst and as you can see it's just absolutely gorgeous this right here is called the ice resin opals and you, it's it's it looks much more gorgeous when it's mixed with the resin and poured into a bevel and then last but not least 
I have this one, which is iced raspberry. This is shattered mica, and it's called raspberry, and it's just beautiful. It's like mica that's been... I don't know how well you can see that, but it's like mica that's like kind of flaked, but just gorgeous. So we're probably going to be using those three. So I've already made the resin, and if you don't know how, this is ice resin. If you don't know how to work with resin or how to mix your resin, then go ahead and take a look at the video that we have on how to mix resin. That would help you out tremendously if you watch that video. So one thing I wanted to mention, I've let this resin kind of sit and you can see there's some bubbles at the top now. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those by using my torch. Just like that. Okay, I went a little bit too far on that one on the side of the thing, but that's all right. Nevertheless, um, it's kind of hard to do on camera, but so we, I've taken care of the bubbles. One thing I wanted to say is that you don't have to worry so much about the bubbles. You want to be really careful with your torch so you don't melt the sides like that. But anyways, one thing you've got to realize is when you're using inclusions, when you're working with inclusions, you don't need to worry so much about the bubbles. The bubbles are not, because we're going to be mixing things into it. So it's sort of going to just get all mixed together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some of this into another container. This resin is ready to go. And I might, because I may not need all of it for this one particular color. So I'm going to save some of it to the side. And I'm going to mix some of these beautiful cobalt blue opal opals into this resin. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour some in there. And what you want to do is you want to make a little concoction up where you are making kind of a slurry. And you just sort of know that you know that you know that it's mixed up enough and that it has enough glitter in it. And if you pick your, your, your stick up like this and you see it kind of, there's a lot of clear there, like you see how on the edges around here, it's real clear, then I probably want to put a little bit more because you really want to have it just full of this you want to be very liberal with it. I'm going to put a little bit more. I can always add a little bit more resin if I have to. And I've let that resin sit for about five minutes before turning on the camera so it's, you know, ready to go. So I'm mixing this in now. And I've got it pretty much... See the difference how it's all nice and thick and it's there's a lot less there's a lot less dead space in there with just resin I think I'm gonna add just a tad bit more believe it or not I want it just a little bit more saturated and then that should do it excuse my doggies Good morning, babies. So, it's early morning here, and my dogs like to, I think they think they're roosters. So, anyways. Yeah, everybody's up now. Okay. So, mixing this now. Okay. So, now we're pretty much, that's about how I want it. So that it's not, like, falling right off. Okay, so sorry about that. I had to change my battery. And I'm seeing a little bit more bubbles in here, but that's okay. We'll take care of them after. So what I want to do is, besides the ring, which I'm not quite ready for, I need a piece of tape for that because wherever that ring goes, I have to have the tape. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I want a little tool, like a Q-tip. I get these in like a pack of a thousand and a really good price. So on our product recommendation page, you'd be able to find these probably on there. If they're not on there yet, I'll get them on there for you. 
but you just want to take a little bit Kind of swirl around with your the end of it that's wood and get some on there and kind of spin it around so it's on there and then you're going to drizzle it into this bezel right here because you don't need much for these earring bezels so just let that go in there and if it goes to the side like that that's okay we can fix that while the resin is still wet so just get that in there and I'm going to take a little bit more here. I don't want it to overflow. I just want it to fill the bezel. Okay. So again, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to kind of get some on there and spin it around so that I've got some on there. And I'm just going to drop it in there just like that. And those look pretty good to me. They look just about right. You don't want to overfill those. These don't get any resin. These are the top part of the bottom part of the earring. Then for the bezel, you're going to just go ahead and pour some into the center of your bezel and just let it spread out. naturally and you can kind of help it inch to the edge and it will dome itself it's self doming so that's it that's all you need to do for that now this is where i would go ahead and hit this with the just to get the bubbles off the top i think i got them all i'm real careful with this because i don't want to overdo it but there we go like I did with my plastic, it just woo <laughs> went straight down. So this is now ready to set, okay? And basically what I'm going to do is just keep an eye on it until the resin gets a little bit more thick. And then what I will do at that point when it's a little bit more thick, I will make sure that it's not coming up on the sides of the bezel or anything like that because you want this to be nice and neat. I'm going to take a little bit for the ring for this one here and I'm just going to do like I did with the earrings and the resin's already starting to thicken up just a little bit so it makes it nicer to work with because you know you're not getting too much in there and and this is the thing you kind of want to work fast with it because if you have more than one set to do because the resin does get thick and hard to work with harder to work with like easier at first and then harder okay I'm sorry I was off camera doing that so I basically did the same thing as I did with the earrings and I just kind of got some on my stick and I just drizzled it in to the bezel okay and you don't want to go too much and you don't want to go too little you just want to have it about just right to where it's full and it may even be doming a little bit on the top and that's fine that's exactly what you want okay now what i'm going to do is stick a piece of tape through here right through the bottom and i'm going to go off camera here for a second but basically i've got this tape running through here and i'm going to tape this standing straight up so that it can go ahead and set just like this and i'm not going to worry about it spilling okay and that's how i'm going to do that okay so that's pretty much it you just keep an eye on your bubbles and you can see there's a few more bubbles forming on the top there you don't have to worry so much about them with when you have inclusions but they still do pop up so you want to take care of them as they do and your piece is just going to be gorgeous so you can just let this sit a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and put this over where it can sit. So I went ahead and everything's finished and put together. And so we have this beautiful Druzy stone necklace with that Aztec feel to it and look to it. And it's just turned out absolutely gorgeous with these earrings. They're just to die for I mean they're just so cute and then you have the rings one's in the Aztec style and the other one is just poured into kind of like the one I'm wearing now poured into the bezel and then set and these bezels we this bezel here we made 
and then this one here is just a, a regular uh, bezel. So these turned out great. And then with the extra resin that we had, look at all this. This is just crazy. We got a lot of nice necklaces out of that. We had this one, this one. We made all these really nice pendant necklaces. I'm just gonna go ahead and lie these down. They are so cute. And that was just the extra resin that we had. If you have extra resin, don't waste it. Make something out of it. And so that's why we have these extra necklaces here, which we wouldn't have had had we not had that extra resin. And then I used the shattered mica and I was able to make this pendant and this ring and the earrings to go with it. And that turned out pretty cool. That's why I poured some extra because we have something coming up and this shattered mica looks really cool on here. Just really pretty. And these turned out very cute. And then finally, here's the opal set that we made. And just look at how pretty that turned out. That is really pretty. That is what we came up with today. And this is the ring, just really pretty. So if this has helped you in any way, and if you're excited about making this pendant, then give us a thumbs up. And please subscribe to our channel for more. We have a few more videos that are just waiting to be produced that we're working on right now in the works. And we have more videos we want to create for you. We really uh, want to make sure that we're doing things that you like to see and you want to see more of. So please hit that, hit those buttons and join our family, join our community and our friends and let's do this together. And keep a watch for new videos and we look forward to sharing them with you and sharing our ideas and we'd love to hear yours. So I wanted to say thank you to all the new subscribers that have been taking the time out to to subscribe to our channel and, and that are watching our videos, we really appreciate you. You don't even know how much that helps us to keep going and keep moving forward in trying to help each other out. So thank you to the new people that have subscribed to the channel. And we really, really thank you. We really appreciate you. And don't forget to check down below the, in the description box, there is a product recommendation page. You know our favorite go-to place to shop on the internet is polyclayplay.com. And I always stress that, that they are an excellent place to shop. They have the best prices, the best, best deals, and all of the above. Sometimes I have to pick up things. If they don't carry it, I'm going to pick it up on Amazon or wherever. But on our product recommendation page, wherever we get it from, it's there for you. And it's got the best price on it. So don't forget to check that out. It's got a list of all of our supplies. We're, we're adding to that every day. And so it's going to grow so always keep a check on that because you're going to find better prices new things on there for your creativity and it's not stuff that we're selling it's stuff that we uh, recommend and so we hope that you find that helpful and that's it for today have a great day or night wherever you're at um, when you're watching this and we'll see you next time bye bye